Abu Rajal family is slowly but surely being forced from the cluster of apartment buildings which are their ancestral family home. Israeli settlers arrived on July 25th, broke into three of the apartments and moved in. Within hours, the army turned the site into a closed military zone, in effect providing protection to the settlers and restricting the Abu Rajab's access to their own home. The family say they've also been harassed by the settlers, including verbal abuse, rocks and sewage thrown at them. Hatem Abu Rajab has lost hope anyone will help his family. We only have faith in God. We have no hope in the authorities and the occupation authorities. Only in God. We've tried this before, negotiations for 20 years. What are the fruits of the negotiations? Where are the results on the ground? Israeli settlers first took over the apartment six years ago, which they say they bought legally from Palestinians. The Abu Rajah family says the people the settlers bought from didn't have the right to sell the property. The Israeli High Court ordered the settlers to leave. Who owns the houses remains a legal dispute. The settlers live here illegally, but they do have some high-profile political support. The settlers have proudly displayed a quote from 2013 from Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. It says that this house must be populated. Supporters from other areas arrived bearing gifts. We asked this man if the settlers will leave. He says, never. We've lived here for 2,000 years. A representative of the settler movement echoes that opinion and says they're frustrated waiting for the court to make a decision. We've waited five years for a process. Now we jumped the gun a little bit. We pushed it ahead. We, we, we're, we're tired of waiting around. And especially with uh, certain actions that have happened in the last few weeks showing a, a lack of sovereignty, of Jewish sovereignty, we, what you would call the settlers, we think we're the you know, Jewish community of Hebron, have pushed forward and have gone back to a building that we rightfully own. For Palestinian anti-settlement activist Mohamed Kafisha, the Israeli settlers and the government have one goal. The Israeli military has killed a lot of Palestinians around this area in H2. And it was just for kicking Palestinians out and scaring Palestinians not to live here. And none of the Palestinian families left their houses. Hebron is a divided city and at its heart live around 700 Jewish Israelis in settlements. They are guarded by a larger number of Israeli soldiers and police. 37,000 Palestinians live in the same area, but their movement is severely restricted by dozens of military checkpoints. The city has a tense atmosphere, and the occupation of the Abu Rajab home is only adding to that. Imran Khan, Al Jazeera, Hebron.